Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed and today we are here at Presidio Park So for today what we want to do is actually go around Presidio Park uh, my friend Emma, he has like some things that he wants to see. The very first uh, location we're going to is called Presidio Overlook, right? Crazy Field. Crazy Field Overlook. Um, and uh, we're going there right now. I don't know exactly what there is to see there, but I'm sure we'll be able to get a good view of the sea, maybe Alcatraz. Uh, but I mean, we'll see when we get there. We are still walking to the Crescent Field Overlook, but as you have been able to see, there's a lot of green spaces. It's a very like natural area. There's a lot of different things to do and to see, which makes it worthwhile coming here and taking a look. And at this particular place, you can also see a great view of the city skyline. And you can also see the Palace of Fine Arts over there. And all this area right here, this is Crisif Field. Emanuele is a professional photographer. Right now he's using his phone like a noob, but he usually uses that camera right there. Look at him, so focused. Now we are moving to the, what was it Emma? The main post. We are going to the main post, which I also know, I also don't know what that is really, but we'll see when we get there. We are still on our way to the first post here in Presidio Park but on our way there we stumbled upon a graveyard. This graveyard right here was used for military purposes so it's just a place to remember those people who, who gave their life and pay respect to them uh, as they deserve. the main entrance of the cemetery I think we're gonna go ahead and go in uh, real quick and take a look at it family members are buried here no one has been buried here since 1992 based on reading that sign right there uh, we learned that this is a burial place for uh, people who fought in old wars and not only just for those people who died but also their family members and uh, I think you said 30,000 30,000 uh, soldiers and their families are buried here. So that was the cemetery. Right now we are heading to the, to the main post, which was what we said at the beginning. Hey there everyone, we made it to the main post. In this area right here, you'll find uh, museums and you also find like a visitor's area and uh, also this little, um, I don't know, like grass section behind me. They do a lot of events there. A lot of people come here to play sports in the morning or um, they do, uh, I know they do like, uh, what is it? Like food truck kind of things. Um, so it's a really cool place to come and hang out and uh, also explore the, the museums that are here. One being the uh, Walt Disney Museum and the other being the Officers Club which uh, is again like details the uh, history and like the importance of this location for the United States military. And of course the Disney one is just uh, kind of like about the life of Walt Disney and like all his uh, legacy that he left behind. Today we are not like visiting any particular area uh, specifically, we are not going to the museums right now. What this is, like I mentioned earlier, is just a hike. Uh, we're just going through all the different places and taking pictures and just exploring like the different locations that, uh, that are around here in Presidio Park. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We visited this area and now we'll move on to the next one. But first, we have to make a quick pit stop in the bathrooms. So right now, we are here at the main post uh, visitor center and we just found this map. So this right here, that's Golden Gate uh, Bridge. We started at the Golden Gate Bridge here initially, and then we went over to the, so we took that route all the way to the Battery East Vista. Then we went ahead and walked more all the way to the Christie Field Overlook, if you remember that. 
And after that, we went to the cemetery, as you saw before. This right here is the cemetery, or like the look from, from above. And then after the cemetery, we walked a little bit more to get to the main post, which is all this area right here, all that area, and all the museums there. And uh, we are here at the visitor center. And then the next step is to move, uh, to walk a lot all the way to, to the wood line. After uh, spending some time at the wood line, we'll be walking a little bit more until we get to the inspiration uh, point overlook. After that, we'll walk a little more to get to get to come back to the cemetery, uh, the, the cemetery overlook, and then uh, we're gonna keep going all the way to the uh, immigrant point overlook. After that, we'll be walking to the beach, uh, to the Pacific overlook, or to the beach, and then we'll keep walking. We'll get to the Golden Gate overlook right here, as you see, and then back to the very beginning. All right, like we mentioned before, we are heading out to Wood Lane. When you go through trails like this one, you kind of forget that you're in San Francisco. Like, look at this. It's like a lot of green areas, lots of trees. And then trials like this one. I think we're making it to the wood line, according to my friend Emma, right here. So the wood line gets its name because it's literally a wood line. I'm guessing that it covers like a really wide area, but that's the, the reason. I was actually wondering like what that meant exactly, but there you go. The more you know. My friend Emma is going like, is walking on, on the actual wood lane. I'm gonna attempt to do the same with my camera. Hopefully I don't fall, but if I do, I get I guess at least I'll capture it on video. Whoa, that was close. There's some parts that are super like hollow, so your foot kind of like goes into the, the tree. It's kind of, whoa, that makes it I guess a little bit more challenging for me. Ugh. Now my friend is gonna try it. Go bro, as fast as you can. Just don't break your legs. Or break them for the video, haha. -ha. I was like going fast. Yes, fall. Yes. <laughs> Who's a loser now? <laughs> Loser! As you saw, I wasn't able to do it, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my Naruto run. If you did, hit the like and subscribe. If you didn't, just hit the like and subscribe. Look guys, we were all the way over there. That's where Woodline is. And we went all around on the here where we are standing right now. And we made it to the Inspiration Point Overlook. There's quite a few people. So this is where the cool kids hang out, apparently. So over there in the distance, you can see the Palace of Fine Arts, at least one of the structures right there, right there. And then Alcatraz right behind it. Really cool spot, great view and great weather today. It's been raining all this week, like I mentioned, but today is just great. I wish I would have brought my running shoes, but I didn't think it was gonna be this uh, good weather. We are on the trail again, moving forward with the rest of the journey. Right now we're taking some sketchy shortcuts, and right now we're on the bike lane. I don't even think we should be here. There's a biker, they're so fast, but uh, we're doing it because we don't care. Rules were meant to be broken, right Emma? I really like those uh, little signs. They tell you like where you are and also like how far each 
like different point is located so it makes it easier and uh, it just makes it good that you feel like you've covered like so much distance and now uh, like you're there and uh, I don't know it just makes you want to keep going but yeah I forgot to say that we are arriving at the uh, cemetery overlook so we were at the cemetery before but this is just like a point where you can see like the entire cemetery uh, so that's where we are uh, going right now and uh, we'll show you how the well, we'll show you how it looks as soon as we get there so this is what we were telling you about here you get like a really good vantage point of the entire cemetery and you can see like how it extends all the way over there it's a pretty cool view and you can also see the ridge over there in the background the day is slowly coming to an end and uh, we still have like three more things or three more locations that we want to go to right now we're super close to the immigrant point overlook so that's the next uh, step in the list of locations that we want to visit and uh, we'll come back as soon as we get there so we made it to the immigrant point overlook it looks really nice you get a really good view of the sea and as well as the mountains in the distance uh, it's a really nice place, uh, although that is very, very windy, so I don't even know if you can hear me right now. Look at Emma right now, look at his crazy hair. You're crazy, man. I think we're done here. We don't, we don't want to stay here for long because we probably could get sick, so we're moving to the next location. just making it to the Golden Gate Overlook this is the last stop here in our little journey around uh, Presidio Park and look at that guys that's like the clearest picture of the Golden Gate bridge that you could ever see so guys I just realized that we only have to walk like this path right here up till there and we made it till the end so our long journey is almost over Emma is checking the last directions this is the last Point. the closest point will be to the bridge to take like these kinds of pictures but yeah it's been it's been quite the trip I uh, really enjoyed it and we'll be getting there in a few minutes now uh, to end the trip officially to me just like looking at the sunset in the sea is one of the most calming things and one of the most beautiful okay. things I uh, just it's just amazing to me it just looks so beautiful all right, you guys, our trip started this morning at the visitor area here at the Golden Gate Bridge. And now we're back here, just where we started. So this is where we say goodbye. Remember to always be kind, have an open mind. We'll see you next, see you time. next time.